Skipper told me. I told you. After he told me. What I does it I, there's no question I, I, I've never not used Science of Acting in any role I've ever created. Uh, every time I get a script through, I immediately start analysing the uh, character from the script and what I can glean from the script, uh, what it tells me about their past life, what it tells me about the way their mind works, and I ask a load of questions. Um, and before I get to the audition, I've hopefully answered them sufficiently and accurately so that when the casting director or director, whoever it is, is there and asks me um, uh, to play the scene, I'm playing it as accurately as I can. Hooray! Uh, my name is Robin Forbes and I'm currently studying the three-year acting and directing course. I picked Assad because uh, the technique that they teach here is really unique. Uh, it's the only place in the world that, that teaches the science of acting. I really loved uh, and enjoyed coming to the Academy. I think it gave me everything that I needed as a professional actor. When I had to go for a casting to, uh, for Hereafter, uh, which is the Clint Eastwood film. Um, I knew what to do and how to prepare for the casting. Um, and I also knew what to do when I got the job. So that was fantastic. And I remember my agent ringing me, he goes, uh, um, they've just phoned and they want to know if you want to do the job. And I said, yes, I do. Oh yeah? Well, I got a big surprise for you. I'm not going to be here when you get back. <laughs> <laughs> I like I think the single most important thing for me, or the thing that most affected me with the science of acting, um, my training was active imagination. Um, prior to that, I'd studied uh, in a lot of different schools, a lot of different teachers, and had always tried to find a way to achieve uh, what they would call objectives or what is called a purpose in the science of acting. I knew that's what I needed in my acting. The key of active imagination, uh, uh, in other words, as opposed to seeing me as a character running around trying to achieve something, but actually seeing it through my own eyes, through my own body, um, trying to achieve or having achieved the action or the uh, 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 purpose. Uh, it was like the lights went on for me. And I still would say that's the single most important thing that I have as an actor today that I use in every role that I play, whether it's a TV commercial to you know, something on a um, uh, big studio picture. It's, it's, it's essential, um, I think, for any actor. And it's um, crucial. I mean, it, I think it's the difference between good acting and bad acting. I can even watch and say, that actor is working in a state of active imagination and that actor is probably not. And it's not, I don't mean that in an arrogant way. I just simply mean that it's um, just profound. It's really profound. They will be my ears, my eyes. I will not stop until I have found him. I will not stop until I have dragged his head under the guillotine and served his head to the platter in France. The academy continues to go very much from strength to strength. Um, we are now undergoing university validation and uh, we've moved to very, very nice new premises which we're very happy with. Um, and uh, the academy isn't, I have to say, not just about the science of acting, which is an incredible toolbox for an actor to take anywhere uh, in the world and, and work with any director and, and work within any environment. Um, but we want to create, and it's very important to create, a broad base of training. Um, so um, we offer uh, one, two and three year uh, programs in acting in day or evening and we also offer a four year program in, in teaching directing day or evening. And those years uh, uh, stretch across four terms and there's 11 weeks per term. So on average we teach uh, a 44 week year so we don't have long summer holidays at all. And those days start from 8.30 and finish at 5.30. We don't have any half days off or very few free periods. So it's a very intense, very demanding program. Um, but we do teach a lot and we do teach, uh, cover a lot of ground. We do a lot of work with movement and the physical side. Uh, we teach three years of physical theatre. We teach all the dance disciplines. We also teach subjects like Commedia dell'arte and mime, etc. Um, and we also uh, teach classes in other acting techniques as well to give like a good cross section uh, and other points of reference for creating characters. Um, for example, Meisner, uh, Stanislavski, indeed, uh, Michael Chekhov as well, and some method classes as well.
So what I like mostly with the Academy is, is I guess the thorough work we do with the, with the characters. Recently I played Linda from A Death of a Salesman and she's 56 years old. And obviously that's not close to, to my life and my um, sort of thinking towards life. But then I get to design um, and then basically get up on stage and think her thoughts rather than my own and have that whole character line with 56 years, um, 56 years that I need to fill with experiences um, of this character. And then it becomes very, firstly, enjoyable, but most importantly, simple, because basically all you're doing is standing on stage and thinking thoughts. That's not your own, and that's fascinating. I think the science of acting helps me in my career because it is um, such a, a comprehensive and a thorough technique and I think to be able to do anything well and consistently well then then you need a good technique and, um, and that's what the science of acting is. I think it's very inspiring and reassuring to know that you have the means to understand characters and then also to recreate them so thoroughly and that is something that is a great boon to me in my, my career and also it makes it so enjoyable to, to know there's, not, there's nothing you're not considering when you're approaching a character because the technique you have is just it's, it's so all-encompassing and that there isn't anything left to chance, it's all, if you follow the steps, then you, you should be, be able to create any character in any context and um, to the best of your ability. And that's, uh, that's a good feeling. Stay close to me, my crew. If anybody gets lost, we meet at the United States Embassy. <laughs> Lots of people ask me how did I become an actor, uh, where, where did I go, which school did I go to, and um, I always tell them, you know, the best school uh, that I think is the science of acting, but don't take my word, come to the school, sit in on classes, see what you think, and you'll realise that you'll get the best education in the world. Um, the teachers, the tutors, they all care about what they're doing, and um, I can't recommend it highly enough. So if you really do want to be an actor and you're serious, then please check out the science of acting. Um, I think it was the best thing I ever did.